stinks. All right, last one. Oh, you you saved the balloon till the end. Yeah, why not? I, well, you had so many stories about it. About the balloon. Yeah. Well, it's because the balloon the balloon is comprehensive. Okay. Yeah. The balloon started as okay, it, just floating around research balloon, and then it became China. Esp- espionage balloon, and then it became uh, another balloon, a second balloon. So this, yeah. I I really didn't look into it over the weekend. I think you remember from the beginning of the show what happened to me over the weekend. I wasn't uh-huh, really yeah. necessarily looking at balloons, but first things first, the balloon has been shot down, and China came back, and it obviously has disturbed some kind of uh, relations, because China came back and like, oh, you exaggerated. It's just a stray balloon. We were doing research, and the wind took it over there. Uh-huh. And then on the U.S. side, they're like, we didn't overreact at all. Your stinking balloon was sitting over top some spot in Montana, which is incredibly important. Yeah. And don't tell me it's the wind because that thing could, had some navigation capabilities over there. Uh-huh. And it happened to be looking at nuclear silos. Yeah. Bud. Staring right down. And then I'm reading this second story that one of them went over Central America or somewhere near Peru or Colombia. Uh-huh. So you got all these bull- <laughs> you got just this onslaught of balloons that seemingly it was a mishap but then it's like do you believe the mishap and then you had one of these uh, diplomats or one of these politicians that was supposed to travel to china soon in order to enhance relations and now they're saying well you can't make this trip because it's beef now yeah balloon beef and it's it's just funny because it's just a balloon the idea of the balloon. Well, and it's listen. I did research a, a little bit. I did some reading. Balloons have been used in the past for these for these purposes, because the balloon can fly extremely high, mm. and uh, the balloon can can uh, not be detected as easily. And and obviously, I think as well, if you're suggesting that it was just an accident, the balloon is the least intimidating. Yeah, like it's just a balloon. Relax. Yeah. yeah. Relax. Just a balloon traveled across the entirety of the United States. Just relax. But it was so, like, in-depth in social media, like, throughout the whole weekend. Oh, everyone was obsessed with the balloon. The balloon. You had to oh, click on that little uh, graphic there because it showcases that when you picture in your mind balloon, you might not be recognizing how substantial this thing was. Click on the diagram, the BBC diagram. Yeah. Like, this thing was substantial, the scale of it. Uh-huh. Helium filled with solar panels to continue to provide power. And then the instruments below that, including cameras, radar, sensors, and communication equipment. And then flying at 120,000 feet, between 80,000 and 120,000 feet. Hmm. That is way above your uh, commercial aircraft and also above your fighter aircraft. Mm-hmm. And so you can understand why this would uh, this would be possibly a technique, but could it be a mistake? Could it be an accident? Could it be a research balloon gone awry? Sure. Could it be espionage? Sure. But then now you're just left in limbo, having to basically come to your own conclusions uh-huh. and having the increased tensions. And the U.S. is going to study it. But they're not going to release. Well, the, but the missile hit it, and now it's distributed. They wanted to shoot it down over the water, and I don't even know if that is the ideal scenario because now you got to retrieve the components over water. Yeah, they say, "Oh, it was the safest thing to do," but then other people are saying that he waited too long. That actually the reason he was shot down over there because they were they were taking their time. They should have mm-hmm. shot it down sooner. So. It's a lot of different opinions on this matter, but now they're going to try to retrieve these components. And uh, obviously this is this story relates to the second one that was floating over Latin America. And in this case, in Colombia and Costa Rica, sorry, I, I think I said Peru. Anyway, and, and then uh, China says, oh, that was a mistake too. Two mistakes. <laughs> How many balloons are they uh, Two mistakes. It, well, it's just two mistakes, man. Huh? My expensive balloons over there is a mistake. <laughs> Guys, your balloon is still over my house. No, come on. It's just the wind. Yeah. Why is it hovering in this location? Why is it looking into Biden's bedroom? Listen, dude, I don't I don't know. I don't even know how long it was hovering for. I don't know how you can verify this stuff. I presume that's what the military is for. They're supposed to yeah. figure this one out. 
Um, but they're going to continue to say it's not a spy balloon, obviously. Imagine they just came out and said, yeah, it's a spy balloon. We're just checking what you're up to. War. Instant war. <laughs> And then yeah, they can't do that. <laughs> they can't do it, right? But, like, what if the U.S. finds some remnant of some sort of video recording oh. of, ex- like, extensive detail oh. and a zoom lens on a missile silo or whatever? Yeah. How do you respond to these things? Now, I, I'm guessing China wouldn't, like, obviously make that type of error. So I would assume everything would be transmitted. There would be no local storage. Uh huh. Yeah. Trying to imagine the way you could do this spy balloon if you actually wanted to spy. Sure. But you have all types of quotes here. China's vice foreign minister accused the U.S. of using an indiscriminate use of force. How? Don't shoot my balloon. It's my balloon. They're like, well, this is right here, though. Hmm. Your balloon came in my yard. Yeah, that's couple, exactly what. Couple it is. neighbors. Yeah. Indiscriminate use of force against a civilian aircraft, which China claimed was used for meteorology. <laughs> It's however, space stuff. However, the United States turned a deaf ear and insisted on indiscriminate use of force against a civilian airship that was about to leave the United States. Yeah, it was almost gone. We almost made it all the way through and mapped everything. Why you got to shoot it now? <laughs> yeah. It was almost across the country. They obviously overreacted and seriously violated the spirit of international law and international practice. Actually, I don't know that that's true because I think in your airspace, do what you want with it. Yeah. She added that by shooting down the balloon, the U.S. had seriously impacted and damaged efforts at stabilizing relations between both countries. He stated that China reserved the right to make further necessary responses. Well, why can't I'm going to shoot your balloons? Well, I would warn you first. Be like, hey, can my balloon just float over your backyard? Yeah, but you know they're going to say no. No, you cannot fly your balloon. Yeah, and then this will happen. You know? Well, that's the other thing is if you believe that it's a spy balloon, then then how could they have assumed you wouldn't that they, the military wouldn't pick it up? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's a bit. There's many odd aspects to this story. And there's people that know obviously more information than we do over there at the but Pentagon or whatever. It happens why did they have to blow it up, though? Why can't they like retrieve it? That's carefully? another like, great question. A, I guess you can't get a drone up there. It's big. It's really big. Yeah. You're underestimating the size. And the height. Size and height. Yeah. Playing a big role. Yeah. Size and height. Huge risk factors. But it is it is a funny one that they wait for it to actually exit the U.S. landmass and be over water. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, now we blow it up. That is also a curious aspect. Yeah. Anyway, listen. Yeah. Balloon talk. That concludes our balloon talk 2023. Thank you very much to everybody. I don't know, or probably not. Maybe there's going to be balloon follow up.